give it like, share, and subscribe on the video. All right, you guys, let's get started with your reading. I'm going to do the Celtic Cross, let's see what's going on. So the Magician passed. Wow, Virgo, you've got the devil. Current energy with, gosh, justice. Why couldn't I say that? Nine of Wands driving the reading. You have the, um, my goodness, what is going on? I was about to say the Hierophant. Why? <laughs> Could you be connecting with the Taurus for some of you? Um, I don't know. We're going to, we're going to get back to that. So the Chariot. Wow. Look at all this major arcana. Oh my gosh. The Hermit, Nine of Cups. Knight of Pentacles, another major arcana, the Wheel of Fortune, another major arcana, the Tower, and the Seven of Swords, holy, okay, somebody's got a serious thing for you right now, there's communication coming in, Virgo, from, from somebody who's quite smitten with you, um, there's an energy of like, this is my crush card always. This is somebody who's like very excited about you or excited about something. And I feel like there's going to be some communication. As soon as some work is finished, I'm hearing, as soon as work is finished, you're going to be hearing somebody might have, uh, could currently have like, it's very cliche to say, but just like a lot on their plate at this time. Um, I feel like there's like a stalemate situation perhaps, but it's not, it doesn't feel like it's being done on purpose. I feel like there's somebody here who it could be an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, um, much like yourself, Virgo, it could be somebody here who's like just seriously is dealing with a work situation or their finances. And they have a lot going on right now in their life. They're, they have a lot. They're pushing. There's a heavy burden they're trying to overcome at this time. Definitely a struggle. It feels to you or it may feel to you like you're like something's just there's blocking or something's dead in the water. I don't feel like that's the case at all. I feel like somebody definitely wants to reach out. They have the ace of wands here and the three of cups so seeking some kind of a reunion there's going to be some kind of message about getting together this person may feel regretful or they're sorry uh making you wait or they sorry that they couldn't connect with you um, under a lot of stress and anxiety and i feel like somebody is just really beginning to miss you at this time okay now You know what, Virgo, if a, if something, if there's a past energy card that shows up, I mean, there is definitely the three of cups. So that can be a reunion with someone, but it doesn't have to be. This could be somebody just, I don't know who it is for you at this time. You know, whether it's new or old, but it just feels to me like there's somebody here who's really tied up with a financial situation are they really just trying to get their finances together i do feel like they're going to be communicating with you and reaching out to you um for some it had it, it could have something to do with um like a work like your work or their work or a family situation um it could have something to do with like getting stable this person trying to get financially stable or they somebody may feel like they don't have the opportunity to connect with you because of a work situation that could be relocation or that they are just starting a new employment or they're building up their portfolio or their stocks investments it could be you also but it's just that feels like that's a priority at this time and I feel feel like this person understands that that has taken a toll or will understand that that takes a toll on a connection on a relationship and I feel like this person doesn't want to lose you but I do feel that they definitely have a thing for you Perko <laughs> so he definitely is like really excited the communication I feel like is going to come in where hey I'm done with that thing or I'm done with that project or I'm done with that thing I was doing and you know maybe the holidays are coming up let's connect that kind of thing um really exciting messages coming through 
um, and it feels like it's like a let's do something kind of communication from somebody. It's not just like a um, let's see each other. It's like a let's go do something together. You know what I mean? Um, so it could be somebody new for some of you or someone that you've been talking to or connecting with. And there has been maybe a bit of a delay. Okay. So the past position. So let me just tell you guys who's on the board here. Okay. So Capricorn, Libra, Cancer, Gemini, Virgo, uh, Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo, and Taurus. Okay. That's what I'm picking up right now. So let's take a look at this past energy here. Um, so the magician is here and I feel like there was something that got put out on the table, some truth, not necessarily truth, but like, it feels like somebody was laying all their cards out on the table or you were watching somebody lay all their cards out on the table. Maybe you could be, have somebody who watches tarot readings, or maybe they're a tarot reader themselves, but they watch tarot readings trying to get a better understanding of something. Now, this feels like a very specific message for some of you. But Virgo, it feels like for you, some of you might be practicing the magic arts, you know, the good white magic arts. Some of you might be learning tarot or you are getting a better understanding of it. I feel like a lot of you have this really strong focused creativity at this time. You're manifesting things in your life, or at least you were in the past. Some of you are just trying to manifest that level up energy. Some of you were trying to manifest a person into your life you know, putting out on the table what you want. Maybe you ex exclaim this to somebody in the past that you're looking for that empress energy that or the emperor. This is Aries energy as well. So looking for someone who's above board, um, looking for someone to maybe who, I, it just feels like a level up, someone who could take charge, someone who leads from the front, not from behind, okay? Um, and I feel like a lot of you in the past were, are, it could have just been yesterday, just in this energy of like, you know what, this is what I want. This is, this is what I'm looking for. I'm looking for someone to meet me at my level. You know, the emperor goes with the empress, not with a king or a queen. Okay. So if you were searching for an emperor or an empress, I feel like a lot of you have come to some kind of an understanding in the past that in order to have that, you have to be that yourself. You attract what you are, right? So the current energy though is the devil card. There's some stress and anxiety happening here for you. Some of you manifested this person in the past. They came in as everything that you, you thought you wanted, but something, something got put on hold, I feel like for a lot of you. Okay. And right now, I, I feel like there's an obsession or a sense of anxiety or feeling bound or chained or bonded to something or somebody. Okay. So some of you are kind of like, wow, uh, this energy, it's interesting. Some of you are taking a look to see if this is an, was this an abusive relationship you were in or someone who was just kind of like strong arming you or dictating um, or trying to make decisions about your relationship without your input. Okay. They were, they were, for some of you, I have to say this, some of you thought maybe you did manifest this emperor energy, but now you're questioning, is this really what I needed? Uh, uh, a knight in shining armor, a princess in sh shining armor. It feels to me like this person, you're, you're kind of in this position of like trying to sort in your head, make a decision of some sort. And it's a real challenge to you. Is this relationship or this connection maybe with someone from the past or what you're seeking at this time? Are you looking for someone to take the lead or are you looking for someone to be a partner? Because I feel like a lot of you may have thought, yeah, I'm looking for someone to take the lead. And you kind of, 
like gave your power away or you're thinking maybe that's not the best choice for me because if they take the lead in good areas they could take the lead in negative areas as well you know and i feel like some of you are kind of rethinking that you know <laughs> maybe the um knight in white shining armor is or prince or princess charming is is not all it's cracked up to be <laughs> So a lot of you are kind of like, I don't know, I don't know if this is like something that I really thought, what I thought I wanted before, I'm not sure. <laughs> I know it's very strange because I'm picking up the five of swords and this is someone who has the ability, I feel like you're like, oh my gosh, if I allow somebody to come into my life to take the lead, then they could actually like, uh, they they could like direct everything somebody you know how's the word how's saying it's like you give someone and someone if you give someone a rope they'll, they'll hang themselves if you give them too much rope they'll hang themselves with it right if you give someone you know you, you give an inch and then they expect a mile or, or something I, you know i can never remember the sayings i'm just r ridiculous like that you know give them an inch they take a foot give them a foot they take three foot i don't know how it goes but i feel like a lot of you are kind of like rethinking it's really strange that i can't articulate this fully because it feels like you're not able to articulate this fully in your own head like wait my understanding of what i thought that i should have or i want from someone is changing in a lot of ways and it's a benefit for you to try to sort this out in your head and come to like the truth with justice here of what it is that you really want i mean even if you've been sitting back waiting for someone to come in and they can't because they're too busy how long have you um, allowed someone to still dictate how many of you have stood up and said okay you're busy i get it um, but we're supposed to meet halfway and maybe this person didn't give you a time frame of when you were going to connect and just kind of blocked you a little or ghosted a bit and just was like, I have stuff to do and that's more important. And even though you may admire someone who takes the lead in their life in a lot of ways, again, are they also taking the lead in this relationship in a, in a way where they're dictating how it should be? So a lot of you are kind of, I hope that's making sense. A lot of you, you have this nine of wands energy. You're kind of like, hold up a minute, back up, back the truck up. Wait just a sec here. What is going on? You're stepping back. You're hesitant right now because I feel like this person is coming in and they're ready to go, go, go with you because they're ready. But a lot of you are like, wait, I, I don't know. You know what I mean? I'm at the bus stop here and I, I've been waiting for your bus to come in. And now that it's here, I don't know if I want to get on that bus. There might be a better bus. You know what I mean? So I feel like you're very hesitant right now. And you look at the nine of cups is here in the position of your advice. It's like you're looking at the your dreams, hopes and wishes. And you're like, wait a minute. Is that really what I want? You're kind of like, wait a minute. Let me just take a look at this again. Let me reevaluate. What is it that I really want? Because maybe what I thought I wanted was not all it's cracked up to be. Maybe what I thought I, sh I was supposed to have or what, it, the, you know, the, the status quo of things, maybe that's not what I really want. So you're real hesitant. You're taking a look. Oh, yeah. Seven of Swords. You're kind of like, wait a minute. Maybe I was letting my hopes for romance and things like that get the better of me, letting the, those feelings run away with me. You know, maybe I wasn't really like, instead of running away, you're kind of standing here and taking a look at this right now. Okay, so some of you are even taking a look. Was there deceit? Was there deceit and lies? I feel like some... I have to say it, some of you got lulled to sleep or you got blindsided by a love, by a, a deep attraction, something that could have been very toxic or unhealthy. But it was subtle for some of you, just quite subtle. And it was like, you got lulled to sleep a little bit. I feel like there's a lot of people here listening, a lot of you Virgos are having a huge level up. 
So now on your mind here, you have the chariot and that's a card of like the message coming through is you're looking at which direction you want to go and the chariot is a card of victory this is a card of like i'm punching in that gps numbers those coordinates and i'm going after what i want that's in your head okay that's what you're thinking now moving forward are you moving on without somebody not necessarily but i feel like you're you're at the wheel now virgo you're thinking or at least you're thinking to yourself in this rest of this time period, November and December, I need to be the one driving my life, my decisions, my path. Okay. I, I should, I, I, a lot of you are just like, I need to be behind the wheel and making decisions of which way I want to go or how I want to do things, or how I want to handle things, not based on what somebody else wants and giving them sole discretion to decide how our relationship should be, which is great. A lot of you are taking a step back and you're just rethinking this. Maybe, maybe I do love this person. Maybe I always will, but maybe this is not what I want. Maybe I've spent too much time in limbo with someone who was putting their priorities uh, in life, other priorities in front of us, in front of me. Like that person had to tend to everything first instead of being a partner and tending to these things together. I don't feel there's any reason for two pe You know, when two people f come together, they work on their problems together. If something negative happens to one partner, the partner doesn't leave the relationship to go tend to their business. They work through it together, whatever it is. Even if one person can't be at a particular place with another person to help them work, they stay together anyway. They're a team. They fight through things together. And a lot of you were kind of like, well, oh, this person's busy or they got a lot going on or they they're doing this. And they don't have time for me. That's a bunch of bullshit. If, if you, if, you know, if that person has been treating you like that, if somebody's treated you like that or told you that they can't do something because they have a lot of stuff going on, that's like a clear sign that you, they're not for you. And a lot of you are kind of like, wait, I'm rethinking this whole thing. I'm rethinking this whole thing. You don't have to wait to have a marriage certificate to be a team. You, it's because you're a team first that the marriage certificate gets signed. Because you're both like, oh, okay, we are together. We're, we fight through things together. We stay together. We stick together no matter what. We don't give up on each other. Even if someone has to go away to work, we still work through things together. Virgo, you're kind of like, mm -mm. okay. So the King of Cups is here. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Some of you might have a King of Cups on your mind. Or that's a person you're thinking about. <clears throat> Or it could be someone that's a person that you're connected with here. Now, as an energy, it's just like really going in deep and feeling your feelings and trying to figure out what it is is best for you, what you want, what you need. Virgo, I just see you like in super reflective mode. I don't see you isolating. I don't see you disappearing. I just see you really taking the time to think about things here with your own life. Now, there could be a King of Cups who... You might get a message from this person that they're coming in or they're, uh, you know, coming towards you or, you know, getting in a car. Maybe they're going to buy you a new car or, or you find out they get a new vehicle or they're going to travel towards you if there's a distance. And some of you are just kind of like, hold the phone, hold the phone. I'm not sure. I feel like a lot of you are like think rethinking something because you feel like you've, you've been deceived or somebody was lying to you about something here. Or just their actions. Maybe they weren't outright lying, but you were feeling deceived in some way. And you're rethinking things. And good for you, as you should. Let me see here. What's going on with the hermit? So I see you. Let's see. They're saying... Yeah, a lot of you had like a... Uh, an 1111 portal open up for you on maybe November 11th. A lot of you were getting downloads, spiritual messages, like something you had an awakening of some sort. You saw some truths about where you are, what you want, what you're doing. I mean, that would be like 
at the time I'm doing this reading, that would be like four days ago. Let me see here, or around that time. Yep, you're going in. Look at you, four of four of swords. I see you going into November and December, really going in for some healing here, withdrawing, retreating, trying to get yourself in a position of like healing, figuring it out, figuring out what you want. Especially if somebody's coming in, I see communication coming in. I kind of feel like. You're not saying yes right now at this time, and you're not saying no. You're just sorting out, is this relationship toxic? Is this a toxic connection with somebody here? With that devil energy at the center of the reading, it definitely feels like you're in a decision spot. I feel like before, maybe you didn't see this, but something is pushing you to have an awakening and see some things here <clears throat> it feels like some kind of subtle subtle abuse um in words like in words look here's the nine of wands popping out again yeah you're really getting a calling here to really step back and figure out what's going to make you the most happy with the nine of cups these are two nines here this is completion and the cycle's completing Okay, your, your advice here is to really step back and figure out what is going to make Virgo happy. What's going to make you happy? Not what's going to make this person happy so you'll be happy. Okay, what does Virgo want? What do you want? I keep seeing that scene from the notebook where Noah was asking Allie, <laughs> what do you want? Remember that scene? Stop worrying about trying to make everybody else happy. Somebody is always going to wind up unhappy, but you, it, not, it, it can't be you. You can't, if you have a decision to make between two people or a decision to make, period, like you should be your first consideration if you're in something that is not fulfilling you, okay? And I'm not saying, you know, Virgo, you, you're a, you, you have that service energy you like to give, you like to help. That makes you feel accomplished like you have a purpose in a lot of ways but like i always say my mom used to have that plaque hanging up in the kitchen if mama ain't happy ain't nobody happy if papa ain't happy ain't nobody happy no you can't make anybody happy you have to make yourself happy first that should always be your number one uh your priority is you and i feel like a lot of you are doing that and that's your advice here so this person okay so the knight of pentacles is here this person has been very slow um, to make an offer to you. They move very quickly. I'm sorry, very slowly in their decision-making process. Okay, Either they are always undecided or they can't decide. A lot of you are making the decision at this time for yourselves. And therefore, their decision gets made by default. Because when you decide for yourself, everyone else is decided by default so this person i feel like they are going to come in like i said there's going to be communication but they're also going to make an offer um, a solid offer okay look here's the ace of pentacles absolutely um as soon as the opportunity arrives for for them <laughs> as soon as it arrives for them to come in and give a gift or show you something or prove something to you they're not this person's not running in they're not chasing after you okay virgo i don't feel like this person or whoever they are in this reading has does that i don't feel like they do that they actually go real slow like a snail okay they do move but the knight of pentacles is the slowest knight okay this person comes in slow because they're very defensive. They have def they they don't like to rush in because they don't like to get their head the door slammed in their face. They kind of tiptoe up to the door. They knock very gently. You know, they're on guard. They don't want to be rejected. They just kind of slowly ease their way in to make an offer to you whether it's about getting together or sending you a gift or asking for a date or connecting in whatever way. You know, th this person, they have the seven of wands, so they're very guarded type of energy, quite, quite defensive. They don't open up very much. They're just, it's just their energy. 
I don't know exactly why. Okay. But karma's here. <laughs> <clears throat> so if somebody's moving slow, um, does that mean that they're not having an awakening? No, karma's here. This person definitely wants to have um, a reunion or rec wants to reconcile something with you here. And when they're finished doing whatever they're doing, they are going to come in, but they're not going to force it. They're not. They're. It's kind of like. It's kind of like they stand at your front door and they just kind of like. It's like the pizza delivery man, you know, stands at your front door holding the pizza, isn't banging down your door, isn't trying to shove the pizza box under the crack in the door, you know, isn't ringing the doorbell a thousand times or texting a million times, you know, they're just like, all right, we're going to be there at like uh, 830. So um, <laughs> they may not even knock. They might just knock very lately or just once. Like you have to be at the door and you have to open the door first. <laughs> That's kind of like their energy. And they'll be standing there with the offer, okay? Um, again, it feels like you are the initiator in this connection, or you have been, or you, you know, in, if it's a past thing. You just have always been the initiator. And Virgo, I feel like you're really hesitant. You're not really initiating. And a lot of you are feeling like, okay, if I stop initiating, maybe this person will come rushing in and start initiating like crazy. No. No there that's not how this person is <clears throat> now that might not resonate for some of you because you might have someone who does do that maybe something has changed with them or it's this is just some not your reading but it feels like this person you know they definitely want to come in but they're not going to be chasing you down i know a lot of you are like oh i want them to chase me out because then that'll show that doesn't prove shit somebody chasing you down does not prove a damn thing trust me it's not about that because if somebody's coming in because they're chasing you because you've let go, most of the time they're coming in out of ego, not out of heart. Okay. Now, this person could be coming in out of heart, which is why they're not chasing you down because they're being very careful. Okay. And I do feel like there is an element of um, them wanting to do the right thing here by you. I don't, you know, I, I don't feel on their end that this is manipulation or anything toxic on their end. I feel like for you, you're, you're in the position of questioning this. I mean, there's definitely a, a, like, I feel like you both are obsessed with each other in some kind of way. I don't know what way that is. And I feel like you both have had like, um, an Adriana Christopher kind of relationship some of you if you know what I'm talking about but for others I feel like there's just this tie this soul tie may have been created with you and this person it's very difficult to break um, it could be sexual there could be like addictive qualities to this connection but Virgo you have to ask yourself take a minute and ask yourself am i codependent on this person do i have an addiction to this person do they have one to me there's got to be like a real you know checking yourself here with this relationship i don't know for sure i don't see it on their end but i don't not see it either and and for both of you there's something here in regards to that okay I feel like um, it's mostly like a codependency kind of thing, which is obviously an addiction where you're you're co-addicted. Somebody somebody has something going on, and then it's so complicated. And I don't want to get into the psychoanalysis here of codependency. You can obviously look it up. Um, it could be um, some people, you know, addiction could be love addiction as well. I don't know if you've ever heard of that, but there are people that do struggle like relationship addiction dating addiction or love addiction if if i i would suggest like if that's something that you've never heard of or you don't know anything about that read up about that and see if that resonates for you in some ways it might not but for some of you it might um and there could be like this incessant need for love and validation and approval and and love addiction can never get enough and then when that person isn't able to fill that need um, the love addict needs to go elsewhere. This could be your person, Virgo. This could be you. I'm not calling anybody out here. We're all about the healing and we're all about learning and having self-growth and seeing, hey, 
you know you read about it and if it resonates for you hey great maybe you've learned something and you can move forward um, or it doesn't resonate for you and then it's something else and that maybe that'll be in the next reading so i feel like you're hoping here for extreme change wait i just want to check one other thing what is this awakening this person's having uh, happening oh king of pentacles this is about you okay we have two kings here king of cups and the king of pentacles taurus virgo capricorn but this is you virgo cancer scorpio pisces okay water and earth is a good match as always earth soaks up water and um, water has a stable foundation from earth okay so it's interesting too because wait a minute king of pentacles was here too for this person so either you're dealing with another earth sign or you're just on their mind okay so and you're looking for the you're looking for a big payout virgo <laughs> you are you're looking to hit the jackpot in your life here and i feel like in this relationship you want that you want the winnings you want all the trimmings you know you want to you want this payout with this person that's what you're you're looking at and you're hoping for Yep, two of cups. Hmm. I feel like you I feel like you have a fear that it's just going to change or turn out to only be a friendship thing. Um and I feel like some of you are hoping that that there could be a spark of love between the two of you and things will begin to change between the two of you, but I feel like in your hopes and fears, you know, you have a lot going on here for yourself, Virgo. A lot of you are like, you know, what was I in? A lot of you have just decided you were done with the past and you're just opening yourself up to healing and growth some of you you know the fog is clearing and you're getting a better handle on a connection that you're currently in or that you were in you're really able to analyze your you're, you're getting an opportunity here with the hermit to go within and seek peace and answers and illumination about a past connection or what your role was in that. I feel like there's a lot of healing energy. Now the outcome is the Tower, Seven of Swords. So some of you might actually come to terms that this connection was unhealthy and it just, I feel like some of you, okay, hold on a minute. Oh, the Tower on the Tower. Wow, and the Knight of Cups on the Seven of Swords. Yeah, okay, Virgo, I'm going to tell you this right now. Be prepared. You are going to cut this relationship like off for good. Boom, you're going to destroy it, not once, but twice. Okay? I mean, you know, <laughs> not only are you going to crush that ant on the cement, you're going to dig your foot into that, right? And make sure this thing is dead because... With the seven of swords i feel like you're getting away you're running away all right you're you're some of you just feel like there was too many lies and deceit and you're you're just like you the final finale boom you just blow the whole thing up virgo i don't know if you're going to communicate that with something or with somebody about that but this feels more like energetically within you, like spirits coming down and saying, boom, it's done. And then an uh, actual love offer comes in. Now, maybe you will tell somebody that they've ruined a relationship or this connection with their lies and their deceit and um, their deception, that kind of energy, okay? Okay. And if there was abuse, because this guy here male or female we're not looking we're not looking at genders or anything this person here is holding five swords it's like they come in with the five swords which is a card of like verbal abuse and say bad things to you and then they leave you with these two swords where it's like a stalemate you're stuck you don't know what to do that kind of thing and i feel like a lot of you are just done with it but then the knight of cups is here a love offer comes in is it coming in from this person it could be for others it's just like i'm done period <clears throat> with any kind of um bullshit you're burning down the house that's what i feel like you're just burning down the house um now listen virgo i'm not telling you that the person that you're listening is reading for is 
I, I'm not picking up that they're this horrible, nasty, horrible. I mean, I don't think you need a tarot reading for that. If you know your person's like that, <clears throat> then that's your person, right? You don't need confirmation from me. Um, because it would be pretty obvious to you. I mean, Virgo, come on, you're not stupid. But for some of, uh, for others of you, I think that this connection, Virgo, I have to give it to you. I feel like your healing journey is not finished. I feel like you have, you need to get square with yourself. You need to get like, um, because Virgo, some of you might have been taking your past traumas from other relationships and bringing them into this. Some of you might have an energy of um, projection. Some of you might have an energy of uh, transference. You've trans transferred a past negative traumatic relationship onto another relationship that you're in. Now, does that, li listen, if you feel like, okay, maybe that's possible. I mean, the healing really needs to happen. And I feel like a lot of you are taking this time to go in and like really take a stone cold hard look at this connection with this person you're you don't have enough answers yet right because you're not sure you're clouded with your heart you're clouded with past stuff you're clouded with what's going on forward uh, or what's coming to you or what the people you're connecting with right now i feel this person comes across to me as quite hesitant. Um, I do feel like they they want to make some kind of love offer to you here, but they're not sure that you're sure about them. And I feel Virgo, your some of you might be not all of you. Don't you know? Pop in my comments and tell me I'm wrong because this might not be for you. Okay, some of you might just kind of be on the fence still, and you're not. You're not, sometimes you see things and you, you don't understand what's going on. Other times you don't see things um, or your things are okay. And you're kind of like, wait, what? Wait, what? You're, you're a little, some of you, some of you might have a little bit of a wishy-washiness to you. Okay. Because there's confusion. Now, maybe they're giving you confusion. And for some of you, they may have been. They may have been dictating things. And I just feel like the overall message for you is to really get clarity right now. Okay? They're just giving me... Hold on a minute. Oh, okay. They, oh, yeah. This person... They have the nine of cups, right? You are definitely a wish come true for them, but they have a lot of hesitation. I feel the outset of this reading, this person, if you end something with them because you are like not in, you're not wanting to do the deception thing or have any of that bad stuff in your life. I don't feel like this person wants it either. And I feel like there's an admiration that comes for you for standing up for yourself for cutting out you know burning down the house starting over like saying no more of this and burning down the deceit the lies and all there's actually it feels like some type of an admiration comes and a respect for you okay maybe just because some of you get to a place where you do realize perhaps you bring in or projecting or transferring some past negative stuff into this relationship some of you actually put an end to that you get clarity you heal that and then the love begins to flourish in your life this is very deep and psychological i gotta get away from these psychological readings because sometimes they just pop up and it's too deep <laughs> i know some of you are like oh that's good no we like the counseling session um, let's take a look here. I want to see. Do you know what? I forgot to pull your romance cards. I felt just totally drawn. I don't know that I forgot. Maybe I, I, I know I felt like a strong pull to give this message. So that must have been something. Let me see what the love messages are here for you, Virgo. Okay, honeymoon. All right. You guys are, there's going to be a, an offer around the holidays. To connect. I told you, you're getting communication from this person. You are. And there is going to be an offer here. Um, 
honeymoon enjoy the bliss of holiday time together it doesn't have to be an actual honeymoon it could just feel like one um, just enjoying time together with somebody i feel like somebody here wants that with you there's a very strong attraction this person has a very like you know it feels to me virgo you're doing your own thing and you're not just you're just not you're standing up you're not being a doormat in anything in your life at this time um as long as you're not like too harsh in your life just be open and loving and warm but know who you are um i feel like you attract love coming to you and some of you it could be a new love after you, you some of you might come to the determination that this is just done and you're not doing it anymore and that's attractive love comes in the knight of cups is here so there's a love offer coming in yeah so some of you like you're separating from this person you just like no more of this okay and you might have a date or something you know when you're for some you know like when you're when you release that energy like you're no longer that energy leaves you like then everything opens up again that's how i feel everything just opens up in your love life and some of you just haven't fully released because it was either not time oh you have a girl's night out coming for the ladies okay for the ladies girl's night out go for it you get invited somewhere to do something with friends you might meet somebody while you're out okay could be around the holidays okay some of you are reevaluating your career wow okay lustful fiery spirit all right you do have like some kind of hottie coming in <laughs> you might have like a little something something coming out uh girls night out you might meet somebody somebody who's super super attracted to you um they could be a fire sign it could be somebody um who's more youthful or maybe they're younger or they look younger um like a very strong attraction coming towards you it might give you a little pep in your step for a go i don't know okay hitting rock bottom wow now that's the third time that's a tower hitting rock bottom no that's ten of swords oh my gosh surrender there's sur oh my gosh virgo you're surrendering the struggle oh yes you are you know what in this connection some of you are just like you know what raising that white flag waving it all over the damn place i surrender i give up I'm not fighting and no more it's too much of a challenge and a struggle i'm hitting rock bottom with this and i'm going out and i'm gonna have fun and i'm gonna build and do my own thing and be happy right and and i do feel though i will tell you you know what I don't feel like you're going to accept somebody coming in with some kind of offer in this time period. I don't feel like you're going to accept it. I see you being very hesitant and like, you know what? I, I've got all my um, wish cups stacked up behind me and I'm protecting them and I'm defending and I'm not letting anybody come in and destroy those or take away my wishes, hopes and dreams, right? I feel like you're going to be blocking the energy of someone here coming in and trying to connect with you or or be i feel like you're separating from someone i do like or you are maybe you already have but when the energy plays out or this person reaches out to you if this is a past person or whomever i don't know whoever it is who when they reach out i feel like you're staying separate from them you're i don't i don't know that you're going to reject but i feel like you're just you might just not answer you might not accept some kind of an offer and i do feel like that's kind of making you a little more attractive although that's not your problem okay spying online so there's definitely somebody watching you if you're online it could be on social media it could be just looking start typing your name in the google search bar to see if they can get a glimpse or see where you're at or what's going on watching you somehow background checks god forbid watching you somehow or some way to see what's going on with you watching your story watch it okay this person no, yeah this is a non-committal person this could be this person it could be somebody else it could be somebody else someone who is non-committal someone who maybe you were connected with for 
A, B, C amount of time. And this person, I feel like maybe you could have let them go years and years and years and years, like years ago. They're still watching you. They're still spying. They're still seeking you out, looking for signs or glimpses of you. And so this person, though, they're non-committal for you. So it doesn't matter. Let them watch. Give them a fucking movie. Okay. Negative thinking. Oh. Okay, loving older female. Okay, there's a, an older female in your life. Very level, uh, loving type of a person. It could be a um, water sign female. But she has a tendency towards very like negative thinking. Like the grass is always um, never greener on my side. It's always greener on everybody else's side. Um, she might be significant to you during this time period. Okay, it doesn't have to be a water sign. It's just... She can be very loving and nurturing, but most of the time she's very negative. I'm not sure why you need to know about her, but um, she'll be popping up, showing up from this point through December. She'll be prominent for some reason. Okay. Oh, okay. Family celebrations, wedding engagement parties. So some of you definitely could be attending some family celebrations could be a wedding, some kind of an engagement party coming up of some sort. This loving older female could be there or a part of that. Okay. Okay. You have victory, recognition, and and applause. Okay. Virgo, career looks great. You. It looks like you've got money in the bank coming up. Or you're going to have like some beautiful savings. You're getting recognition for work what you're doing or a job well done or maybe you're getting a raise or promotion during this time period maybe you've already gotten that but i just feel like this money in the bank like if you're worrying about your bank account at this time spirit is saying no don't worry about it right now money's coming to you somehow some way i don't know how you're definitely receiving an, a, a reward it feels like Okay, a valuable type of reward. All right, let's take a look at your dates. Let's see what your dates are. And thank you for all the well wishes. You know, I don't have a cold. I want to tell you that. I've had the sniffle, sniffles, but I feel like it's because I have hardwood floors. And I feel like the wind has been blowing like crazy where I live and I feel like a lot of dust and debris is coming in and it's kind of hard to keep hardwood floors clear of dust. You have to like sweep and vacuum every single day. And I try to like sweep with a wet brush, like a wet broom to kind of trap it all. But so I don't have a cold. Um, and you know what? Somebody made a comment because I was sniffling and they said, get it. ass tell me to go get a tissue don't make videos when i'm sniffling kiss my ass so anyway let's get on to your your dates virgo's dates initials names all right let's see Okay, they're giving me, all right, they just said June 2nd, okay, June 2nd, Kyle, I just heard Kyle, hmm, all right, Jennifer, I heard Kelly, Um, and I heard, oh, now, that's the second time now, Christopher or Christine or Chris. Okay. Harry. All right, H. Uh, somebody's last name starts with a Q. And now it could, it doesn't have to. It could be an actual name. It could be any. It could be any kind of name. It could be a handle. It's a, there's a Q. I'm picking up a Q. And let me see here. Oh. 
Oh, definitely picking up double H's. Oh, <laughs> when somebody texts, right, texts you or you text them, somebody always writes the words, the word, H-U-H, -H, like, huh, huh? Somebody always says that. Instead of just sending a question mark, they'll actually type out H-U-H, -H, like, huh? All right, I don't know who that's for. Oh. Wow. Okay. September 1st. September 1st. Um, and the 12th. Oh, and then they said the September uh, 16th and August 26th. Um, I just heard uh, the letter D. They're saying t, d. It's a D or a T. September third, and. November 13th. And the 18th. November 18th. Okay. And I, I have, um, they're giving me an S, and the letter S is in Sam, and the letter V. Okay. Somebody was born in 1965 or 56, but I'm also picking up um, okay, Ruiz, Ruiz, R-U-I-Z, Ruiz or Rodriguez. There's a uh, the f starts with an R and ends with a Z. They just said starts with an R and ends with a Z. Okay. Somebody lives there. It's like an apartment or something. I'm just seeing P as in Paul and the number 10. P10. <sighs> or somebody's holding 10 pence. P10. I just heard P10. 656. Okay. Yeah, definitely there's a 10. Oh, uh. Is somebody chewing peppermint gum or like some minty gum? It just smelled like a strong minty smell. I'm not sure what that is. A strong minty smell. Oh, okay. Some nineteen sixty two to nineteen sixty three. Oh, I keep getting a C, Cindy, or a C, Car Carmen. Oh, um, okay. So, and then somebody lives near the sea or lives near the water or the sea, seashore, the sea. Jeez. Oh, and somebody is can, like writing something. They sign their initials PS or they write PS dot I love you or PS. They finish something and they say, oh, by the way, or P.S., one other thing. 
somebody either writes that or, or you read something that said had a PS, like a PS. Okay. Oh, I just heard, okay, they just gave me a song. Around the Way Girl. That's an oldie. Around the Way Girl. I think that's an LL Cool J, LL Cool J song. I need an Around the Way Girl. Okay, Around the Way. It doesn't have to be girl, it's just like Around the Way. Somebody like from Around the Way. Somebody from home. Or like, um, what do they always say? The next door neighbor they're saying next door neighbor okay let's do a couple of charms we have three minutes left for this reading a couple of charms around the way all right okay well we got a monkey you're the monkey Okay, somebody feels like they have a monkey on their back. We have a beautiful, oh gosh, such a beautiful swan. And also the, there's a leaf here, like cure leaf or sweet leaf, or somebody smoking some leaves, <laughs> tobacco leaves, marijuana leaves, I'm not sure. Um, there's a jokester. You've got like a jokester around you. Maybe you have a pet monkey, I don't know. Or what are those little things called? They fly in the air, warbles or something. I don't know what they're called. Um, but there's someone here gets real funny when they smoke ganja. They like funny, like they joke a lot or they make jokes. Like they're, I almost wanted to say gangster. What is this? <laughs> it's like a, like somebody gets gangster. I don't know. But there is this beautiful swan. So I feel like some of you might be seeing swans at a lake. Or something okay we have tennis rackets might be a tennis game coming up I don't know if that's tennis right now I mean where I'm at it's winter so it's almost winter I mean it could be maybe you're going to a tennis game or you're watching it on TV or you play tennis or you got your rackets in the closet and you're they got dust on them some of you maybe wanted to play tennis what's this they're giving me oh a honeybee beautiful Hmm. Actually, it's weird. That doesn't really look like a honeybee. It's not a honeybee. I don't know what the heck this is. Oh. No, that's not a bee. This, this is not a dragonfly either. Hold on. Oh, this is a moth. It's a moth, you guys. A moth. Mothra. I don't know there's what is I don't know what the moth means that's interesting let me look and see there's something here with this moth that's a significant moth meaning I know I shouldn't be looking this up while I'm doing your video but guess freaking what um, it's definitely related to the butterfly all right, it means it's a symbol of change or moving towards the light or seeking knowledge, love. Oh, the moth meaning means resurrection and transformation, and it represents tremendous change, you guys. But it seeks the light, and it's the message is to trust the changes that are happening and that freedom and liberation are around the corner for you right now. It also, oh my goodness, you guys, we're going with the moth. It also indicates having a habit of falling for things or people that are beyond your reach. Just as the moth seeks the light and warmth of a candle and even gets burned in the process, one may be trying too hard to win the love of someone beyond their reach and getting burned or damaged in the process. Um, it's an indication don't take life too seriously and learn to dance while seeking the light. The cocoon rep of the moth represents bindings and traps, but once it emerges, the adult moth seeks light and liberation. So a lot of you are in that position right now. And or there could be somebody you're connecting with 
like their soul is now is drawn now to knowledge and the ultimate truth okay so it's got like a billion other meanings but that's what's coming out here Wow, there's also like, um, there's a parable in the Bible that refers to that, Matthew 6, 19-20, the parable of the moths, rust, and thieves. Okay, that's interesting stuff. I love learning new things and figuring new things out and trying to understand what's coming up here, and I feel like that moth symbol is very significant. Um, so, yeah, you guys are going to leave your reading there. I do feel like for a lot of you, that's really resonating. A lot of you are just, even with this monkey energy, just trying to dance and have fun as you get towards, um, as you seek the light and try to understand. You, I definitely feel like you're going in for illumination. I do feel like there's somebody here that really does love you, but your relationship may have been very unhealthy and become untox uh, became toxic. And I feel like there's an um, energy of like, burning down everything on both sides, maybe all the deceit and and the lies and deception and like burning all that away, having forgiveness and having a new love start between the two of you, right? If you decide to accept that, I feel like that energy is going to play out, but some of you might just say, not at this time because you're not clear yet, okay? And that's fine. You don't have to be clear. You be clear when you're ready to be clear. All right, Virgo, leave your messages. Thanks for everything in the chat, you guys, and I will see you tomorrow. I love you guys. Take care.